Fern Lodge is a community of Christian scientists dedicated to Christian science healing and to providing the spiritually based nursing care that supports healing prayer. Fern Lodge is tenderly caring and giving your love. Fern Lodge is a place um, of grace. The word grace has always been a special synonym for, or, you know, attribute of God. And I think that grace is a quality that I feel here a great deal. Fern Lodge is a place that feels like home. Well, for me, Fern Lodge is uh, the place where, you know, everybody gets together to bless and uh, to inspire other people so that they can see that the Christ is actually working nowadays in their lives. There's a, a sense of calm and of peace that just pervades Fern Lodge. And that calm comes from our, our trust that God can heal and will heal all man's diseases and that we all are motivated by our love for each other because we express the love that is God, as John said. God is love, and we, we reflect that love. And uh, that's what people feel when they come here. That's what's kept me here all those years. It was a, a loving couple in, in Hayward Church, Mindell Fern Cox, who gave her name to Fern Lodge, and her husband Willard, uh, who first began taking people into their own home to provide nursing care for them when they needed it. And they did that for their own family members and also for family members of the Hayward Church and, and other churches in the Bay Area. And from those humble beginnings of just Christian affection expressed in that family atmosphere of home that they maintained that's made Fern Lodge so special. That foundation has remained through the years. Well, when I first started working here, I literally felt like I was walking up higher, these stairs into this higher thought realm of, that was supportive and healing and helpful. Um, it was a lift to me as a nurse. There's lots of exciting things going on here, but it's also a very casual, loving, warm, family-like atmosphere. So how long have they been making cookies at Fern Lodge? I've been doing activities for 10 years. So for 10 years. Turbo, ready? Oh, boy. Turbo! Cooked for four boys for you know how many years. You get used to cooking <laughs> anything, a lot of. <laughs> I'll take those too. By learning to learning to give, I just feel like as I give, you know, and and open that channel of giving, that that channel to God is is just as much open to receiving it back. And I just feel like I I will always remember Fern Lodge for you know what I've how I've grown and what I've gotten here, you know, the opportunities that it's given me to accept really what God, how God has blessed me. What is Christian Science Nursing, people ask? It's the demonstration of the love of God for His children. It's whatever makes divine love practical in human terms. And, and specifically, it's what makes divine love practical in assisting people who have mental or physical challenges that make it so that they can't really fully care for themselves in some way. When you think of nursing, it is one of the very highest expressions of love and um, showing our Christianity. They are my brothers and my sisters in Christ. Um, so that's why I don't feel any 
hesitance on when, when it comes to helping them because I feel that they are my family. And uh, I had the blessing or the opportunity to take care of my mother as I did with my father and uh, now my kids, you know, and uh, I see no difference when I, you know, take care of a, a family member or I take care of somebody here in the so-called facility. Before I started the Christian Science Nurses Training, I knew that I would be adding to my skill set as a Christian Science Nurse. What I didn't realize was that Christian Science Nurses Training would have such an impact on my everyday life because it infiltrates your viewpoint, your perspective, how you, not only how you think, but how you do everything we do during the course of the day. precious things here as I could possibly squeeze into the room as you can tell. This was me when I was a teenager wearing a dress that I made out of a tablecloth. Oh, these two are your work? Yes, uh-huh. With my own design. And the cup and saucer? Cup and saucer, yes. I had a tray full of food going in to serve, you know, somebody. And uh, as I started through the door, this kid came along and um, put an ice cube down my back. <laughs> of course, when you had the tray in your hand, I had it on oh my. my you, know, you know how you carry yeah, the tray. Yeah. So there wasn't anything I could do but to go on through and serve my <laughs> table. <laughs> 